Welcome, and thank you for joining us for part one of CDW Healthcare's podcast series on mobility management. Today's segment focuses on the next wave of clinical mobility management, MDM and beyond. And with us for this discussion are, first of all, Vincent Vitale. He's the CIO of La Rabita Hospital. Uh, also, David Wright, who's an account executive for healthcare at Airwatch. And Stephanie Salt, who's a mobility solution architect at CDW Healthcare. So let's begin today with a look at BYOD and mobile patient monitoring. Now, these are two of the big trends that we're seeing in healthcare mobility today. And Vincent, I'd like to start with you. Are you seeing these same trends affect? your organization? Um, well, generally, um, a lot of those same trends, but specifically, we're seeing a lot more of people bringing devices to work, and that's all levels of users as well as some of our visitors. So it's, it's staff and it's visitors and it's contracted personnel, and everybody's bringing tablets, smartphones, etc. We're also seeing an explosion of kind of devices that are that are specific use devices, especially in the medical field. So a lot of those are going mobile. A lot of our monitoring equipment, PCA pumps, uh, vital sign monitors, etc. A lot of those are going um, wireless and therefore mobile and being put on our wireless network. David, what are your thoughts? I think Vincent made uh, excellent points there. BYOD is the most critical trend to be addressed right now. Um, A a lot of it really depends on the security policies that are in place from the get-go, but um, really just identifying what devices you have in your environment, making sure that if those devices do have healthcare-related data on them, patient information, things of that nature, that you're able to secure that information um, and and remove it if the device becomes jeopardized in any way. Very good point. Thank you, David. So then, Stephanie, what would you say are the biggest challenges that healthcare facilities face in managing these mobile assets? Sure. A lot of the challenges they're seeing right now um, have to do with inventory of devices that are coming in. So knowing what type of device and also who owns it. Because that also leads to knowing what devices are jailbroken or rooted, um, which could then obviously lead to other security threats to the back-end system if they're connecting to the network. Vincent, are you seeing the same challenges? Yeah, we're seeing that as well, and I, I would agree. I think what, what we're finding is that we have um, several audiences uh, or different types of users that use our wireless infrastructure that bring mobile devices into our organization. Um, the ones we provide our employees, we know, you know, we recognize those devices, we, we know what they are, we know how to control them because we've issued them. Then we have contractors, and in our case, like physicians who are, are under contract and other contract users that bring their own devices. We know them because we see them on a regular basis. We don't control them as well, but we certainly recognize them. And then we have the public, you know, that brings in whatever they have, and, and that could be just about anything. Yeah, and, and in light of these challenges, David, why should hospitals consider adopting a more holistic view of mobility management? As these mobile devices have matured, um, and as the mobile device management industry has matured as well, um, there are really a lot of tools at administrator's disposal to make sure that all of their information is protected. So really started with your basics of, of device management, which is just going to be asset tracking, um, you know, making sure there's a passcode on the device. But now it's expanded to making sure that we're able to manage the applications, we're able to manage the content on the device, um, of course, your security policies. So uh, with that said, all of these different capabilities give you the peace of mind of knowing that any type of information that could be on these mobile devices, you're going to be able to protect and ensure is, is within, uh, for example, HIPAA compliance or other compliance standards. Stephanie, what are your thoughts? Yeah, David's absolutely right. There's, there's a lot more to do with an MDM solution than just email and basic encryption level uh, security. You're, you're looking at application management, you're looking at content and document management, and being able to even encrypt secure email attachments within the email itself. So a lot, a lot of these have to go with the addition of your overall MDM functions. Okay, well to wrap up, I, I do have one final question, and Vincent, let me address this to you. 
what would you say are the main benefits to a tightly integrated mobility strategy? Well, the major benefits, I would say, are uh, the efficiency um, for your own staff and, and for the organization. Uh, it, it takes skilled resources to be able to do this, to be able to manage this environment, and those skilled resources come at a cost. So anything we can do from a tools perspective to enhance those folks' jobs and to pr provide them with capabilities uh, to better manage this more easily and efficiently, I think that's, that's where we're going to have to go. Fair enough. Anyone else care to weigh in? Definitely. I think one of the first benefits is having an overall inventory of the devices coming in. Um, you knowing who and what device is coming in as well. Um, being able to streamline different applications, so being able to push applications out, being able to push down documents that they might need for their workday, as well as allowing BYOD or bring your own device, allowing that strategy and being more secured about it. Well, that's about all the time that we have for today. Thank you, speakers, for your participation, and audience, thank you for joining us. Be sure to tune in for our next podcast dealing with special considerations for mobility management in healthcare. Have a good day, and log on to cdw.com view for industry updates and to access this podcast series. <laughs>